company fires 2,700 workers while they were sleeping days before Thanksgiving. I have been through a plant shutdown before. I live in a state that requires 60 day notice. Still a shock to find out managers and your supervisor knew it was coming months before and let people go on buying houses and making life choices without informing them. The company is United Furniture Industries, based out of Mississippi. Saved you a click. The company also instructed its drivers to immediately return equipment, inventory and delivery documents, regardless of whether or not they have completed their delivery. This sounds like something shady as was going down at this company. Employees can't get their belongings still management is ready. But instructs employees to return their company equipment ASAP? Eat a dick. They have to pay them on the same day. They all need to file labor board claims. Every day they are not paid as a penalty. I saw this on the Fox News website. Interestingly it featured a large picture of Biden. Why is the name of the company United Furniture Industries, not mentioned in either the headline or the headline subtext? And it's only mentioned once in the entire article. They always seem to pick holidays for mass layoffs, wait till Christmas. Effective immediately means park truck and let them find it. Two things. How is it legal for a company to lay off workers knowing that it's likely permanent instead of terminating them so they can collect unemployment insurance? Also, how likely is it that this is some kind of a response to unionization? PSA your boss or supervisor is not your friend. Not even Cobra? Damn Mississippi did them dirty. God bless Tori O'Neill standing up for her and 2,699 other people rights with her lawsuit. Yeah who cares? Keep voting Republican. No prayers or thoughts your way. No Cobra offered? Bastards. And this is why we need national health care for everyone. Even if someone is able to find a job the next day, most companies require working 60-90 days before they qualify for benefits. So those employees that are expecting a baby or on regular treatments, as mentioned in the article, are in jeopardy of losing care, their current medical practitioner, or even their lives. Tell me again how America isn't a shit show for the average worker. The US needs stronger unions and better workers' rights. If people have company property at home, they can charge the company rent until the company comes to pick it up. Wait, so is this basically that entire company going under? It sounds like they just pulled the plug on everyone. So imagine you work in retail, you're preparing for your Black Friday furniture sale and your boss comes to you in a panic to tell you that the entire workforce responsible for filling customer orders has been terminated that week. That's how my week went. What the hell, United? Elon Musk bought a furniture company? Maybe Mississippians should elect politicians that favor the fucking workers instead of those who have a raging hard on for Hunter Biden's laptop contents? Capitalism is great. For everyone, except workers, the disabled, the sick, the old, and the young. Happened to me a few years ago when I was working at Medman. Why do companies think thus is a good idea? I had a friend who go a text hours before her wedding ceremony that she was fired. If I were a truck driver for them. Yay. New truck. Maybe with some furniture inside. Happy Thanksgiving. If Mississippi had been voting for progressive liberal governments the past few decades, they'd all have plenty of job and benefits protection and this shit never would have happened. But that racist Republican vote for baby Jeebus is just too damned alluring. I'm sure there is absolutely no connection between Mississippi ranking 49th out of 50 for educational attainment and 44th for quality of education, and the continued voting against their own self-interests. Shrug. A Mississippi-based furniture company abruptly fired nearly 2,7 thousand workers in the U.S. just days before Thanksgiving, according to multiple reports. 2,7 thousand? Remember folks, companies are people too. How are they supposed to put food on their tables for their families if real people are taking a chunk of their likely record profits? We're going to have a bad recession whether we want one or not. And when we do, the wealthy will buy up the few remaining assets there are. Company fires 2,700 workers while they were sleeping days before Thanksgiving. How many days were they sleeping? And this is why we should oppose so-called it will laws in all states. At one company where I once worked, none of us were given any prior notice. We were all called in, one by one on a Friday, and told that they were laying everyone off. Except for the CEO, President, HR Deer, IT head and one PR person. 
Everyone else was stunned by the abrupt dismissal. I really liked working there, but the sudden and drastic layoff of basically everyone in the company was not handled properly, emo. I did have Cobra but that only lasts so long. Maybe they shouldn't been sleeping. Those lazy bastards. S. How are those pro-big business conservative arguments holding up to scrutiny my guys? Anyone? Tax cuts a few years ago didn't exactly pan out? Donald? Tucker? Mitch? Anyone might be open to a different strategy? Anyone? Good argument for a labor union. Shitty Republican company fires its shifty Republican workers in a shitty Republican state. Shitty Republicans complain they are left with nothing, having voted for employers to be able to do this to them and voted against expanding Medicaid. Oh well. Anyway. From the article this is United Furniture Industry Zufi. Anyone know what brands they make for? A Mississippi-based furniture company abruptly fired nearly 2,7 thousand workers in the U.S. just days before Thanksgiving, according to multiple reports. 2,700 or 27,000? Is this in retaliation or disappointment that the right-wingers didn't have their precious red wave? Yeah yeah this happened to me on Christmas one year. I wonder how many people cheering Twitter's Meta's layoffs will also cheer for these layoffs. What does being days before Thanksgiving have to do with anything? Mississippi, why am I not shocked? Mississippi, so employees probably have very little recourse. Question mark did you use to work for Twitter? If you don't own a company you're just a cog in their machine. Demand your worth. I literally thought HR called them up on Zoom to fire them while they were sleeping past midnight. The company cannot just say no Cobra. The only way they could do that would be to cancel the entire health insurance plan for all employees. No plan no Cobra. If a plan exists then they have to offer Cobra. I used to work for a furniture company in college as an accountant and we carried their brand. Their furniture sucks and it sounds like the company does too. Every person on the board of directors should be named and shamed. Then. No turkey time? Curious a furniture company in Mississippi. Is there only the one? Or are they protecting the company by not naming it? Not something I'd imagine the former employees have any interest in. I work for a company that sold Ufi furniture. This was quite the alarming email that came across our company when it went down. We still have their trailers in our yard. It's wild. 